If you have seen thrillers like Skyfall, Inferno, or the Oscar-winning movie Argo, this ancient structure will probably seem familiar to you, because even a frame of this historical building is enough to set the tone for a scene that takes place in Istanbul. Ever since its construction ended in the 6th century, Hagia Sophia has been a hub of culture, religion, and art. It was a place of immense spiritual value for different religions, witnessed the rise and fall of two empires, and is one of the oldest surviving examples of early Byzantine architecture. It was built as an Orthodox basilica, but later got converted into a Catholic cathedral, then later got converted into an Orthodox church again, then to a mosque by the Ottomans, then a historical museum, before finally taking its place in the historical district as a mosque again. It even has the runic script etching that reads, Halfton was here on one of the marble parapets that surround the balcony, likely left by a Viking mercenary that was serving as a personal bodyguard to one of the Byzantine emperors. This is Iconic Builds, and today we are taking a look at the magnificent architectural work of Hagia Sophia. You may have seen Hagia Sophia in real life or its many depictions in blockbusters, but Hagia Sophia, as you may know it today, came a long way to take its final form. When the structure was first built, it looked nothing like how you know it today. Actually, there were two different basilicas that were built, demolished, and rebuilt on the site where Hagia Sophia is now, before it was there. Standing at 180 feet, Hagia Sophia now towers over the historic district of Istanbul. Despite being nearly 15 centuries old at this point, this ancient structure still maintains all its glory and is a cultural symbol for the city. It may have had many iterations over the centuries, but Hagia Sophia's historical and cultural importance remains the same. After the second one was burned down in the Nika Revolt, Emperor Justinian I established a plan to build a third basilica, bigger and much more magnificent than its predecessors. The initial construction was rumored to have cost 4,000 libra of gold. That's nearly 2,850 pounds of gold when you convert it to the imperial system. Hagia Sophia, which means holy wisdom, was meant to represent the whole Byzantine Empire. That's why Emperor Justinian brought materials from all over the empire to use as resources in the construction. The floor marble was obtained from Anatolia. Bricks for the walls were brought all the way from North Africa, and some columns are rumored to have been taken from the Temple of Artemis in Ephesus. Thanks to the collective effort of 10,000 workers, Hagia Sophia's construction was completed in just five years and 10 months in the city that was then known as Constantinople. That's quite impressive when you compare it to St. Peter's Basilica, which was built in 144 years. Hagia Sophia owes its unique shape, geometry, and design, which was groundbreaking at the time, to two geometers, Isidore of Miletus and Anthemius of Trales, wanted to make the basilica both longitudinal and centralized under a dome. When you take a look at the floor plan, the design almost looks like a square. But from within, the building feels like it has a rectangular shape with its long main nave and two aisles on each side supported by columns. The sides of these aisles are also where the many mosaics that Hagia Sophia is famous for are displayed. The giant 108-foot dome caps the structure off and gives the building its spacey feeling. The main dome, which had an unfortunate tendency to collapse in the past after going through countless earthquakes and fires, is supported by four pendentives and two smaller semi-domes, adding to the longitudinal feeling of the interior. The bottom of the main dome is supported by 40 arched windows, which causes the light to reflect everywhere in the main nave and gives the dome a unique appearance as if it is hovering above the building. The dome also plays a big role in the unique acoustics of the place. When you enter Hagia Sophia and start talking to a friend, you will realize your voice sounds different than how it usually does. This is in huge part due to the building's exceptionally long reverberation time, which is a term used to describe how long it takes for a sound to decay 60 decibels. 
Hagia Sophia has a reverberation time of eight seconds, three times longer than most concert venues. This long period causes the high frequency sounds in the building to get absorbed before the lower frequency sounds, creating a more bassy tone. The final defining features of Hagia Sophia, the four minarets, were only added after the conquest of the city by the Ottoman Empire. When Mehmed II took the city after an eight-week siege, the church was in a dilapidated state because the city was having trouble keeping up with the maintenance expenses. In an effort to restore Hagia Sophia to its former glory and transition it into a mosque, some renovations and additions had to be made. The minarets you see today were built at different time and vary both in size and color. That's why the southeast minaret, which was the first one to be built, is red, while the other three are white. The addition of the minarets and renovations by the Ottoman Empire turned Hagia Sophia into an accidental example of eclectic architecture, drawing inspiration from different centuries, cultures, and religion. It also almost doubles as an art gallery, housing Byzantine mosaics, Ottoman calligraphic rounders, and countless other historical and artistic artifacts. It is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. After countless reconstructions, renovations, and additions, Hagia Sophia still stands as one of the cultural and religious landmarks of Istanbul. It is now open for prayer and visiting completely free of charge. The rustic red exterior may show its age nowadays, but its interior remains as mesmerizing as it did back then. And if you want a glimpse of old Istanbul and want to take a comprehensive tour of the city, make sure it is one of the first stops of your journey.